Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chuck McGee and this is I Just Want to Talk. Hey, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for taking a few minutes and watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell. When you hit that bell, that means every time I do a video, YouTube will alert you. Hey, today we're going to be talking about Tim Tebow and his thoughts on the verse John 3.16. Tim is an awesome football player that played at University of Florida, won two national titles, and he is also known for always kneeling down, saying prayers, and wearing the black little marks underneath his eyes with verses on them. Stick with me in this video. We're going to be talking about how big is our God. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey, when Tim Tebow was a college football player, college quarterback at the University of Florida, he started wearing the verse 413 on the black mark underneath his eyes during the football games. Obviously, that verse means I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, he went through the whole season and they won every single game. And he even noticed that the university started selling the black things that you can put underneath your eyes, started selling shirts that said 413 on it. it. It just took a life of its own and it was amazing. So they were at the SEC championship game against Alabama and he got a feeling that he needs to change this verse. And, and, and it was a strong feeling. But he played the game with 413 on there and they won the championship game and then they had six more weeks to play in the college national championship game. During those six weeks, he said it was just dreadful because he was being told by God that that verse needs to be changed. And he also knew that he wanted to wear a special verse because he knew that the stage that he was going to be on was going to be no bigger stage than that. So he decided to go with verse John 3.16, which we all know what that means. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believed in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. And he was struggling with that and so he made the decision to wear John 3.16. He said that he went into his talk to his parents, I think it was like two nights before the game, and his mom was like all supportive of it. And his dad said, what does your coach think? He said he went to his coach and his coach was very superstitious and he said, you know, coach, hey, I'm thinking about changing my verse from, you know, this one to John 3.16. And he said, no, 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 we can't do that. We can't do that. That verse that you've been wearing has gotten us through the whole season. We won every game because of that. He proceeded to tell his coach why he wanted to do it. His coach settled down a little bit and said, hey, I support you. You do what you have to do. They went on to play the game, won the national championship game. It was awesome. During uh, two days after that game happened, he was sitting down having lunch with his mom and dad and the coach. During that lunch, the coach got a phone call and we were sitting there saying, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Great. You know, blah, blah, blah. As soon as he hung up the phone, Tim said, what's that all about? He said the PR guy from the University of Florida called and said during that game, 94 million people Googled John 3.16. 94 million people Googled John 3.16. Now, Tim went on to say he couldn't believe that that many people didn't know what that meant, but he also couldn't believe just how powerful and how big our God was to use him in that platform to almost 100 million people now knew what the verse John 3.16 meant. Here's why I'm sharing this story with all of you. How big truly is our God that we serve. I mean, think about that. Have you ever sat down and think, how big truly is our God that we serve? You know, when we're not focused on God, we truly don't see everything that he does for us. Now, I get up every single morning and I read to him for two hours and I spend probably too much time with him. He probably mutes me. But I see every single day what he does for me and my family. And every single day, I thank him and I glorify him. And, and I want someday for all of you to be in that situation because it is the most gratifying life that you can ever have. My family and I, we have a wonderful life because we put God first in our lives. And that's why I do these videos because I want to encourage all of you to put God first in your life. 
But sometimes we put God in a box. We don't realize just how big he is. Our God created us. He made us awesome. He has wonderful plans for us. And all he wants from us is to set our eyes on him. Ask him for help. Go to him during the difficult times. Go to him during the great times. And the reason why I shared this Tim Tebow story with you this is what's really incredible about how powerful and how big our God truly is. Exactly three years later, he was playing for the Denver Broncos in the NFL. He was playing the first playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The game was crazy. I mean, it was just score after score after score after score. It was back and forth. And I remember this game. But after the game, the PR guy, what's up with these PR guys? But the PR guy came up to Tim right before he was about to stand, or stand in to do an interview with all the reporters. He said, Tim, I need to talk to you. It's really important. Tim said, okay. He said, I really, really need to talk to you. He said, okay, what's going on? He said, do you know that today's game was exactly three years to the day from your national championship game where you wore the John 316 verse underneath your eyes? He said, wow, I didn't know that. That's incredible. He goes, but let me take it one bit further. Now, obviously, the guy, the PR guy was a Christian, and he really wanted to share these stories with Tim. So he said, do you realize that you threw for 316 yards today? He goes, do you realize that your yards per average rush was 3.16 yards per attempt? He goes, do you also realize that every pass that you threw and completed it was on an average of 31.6 yards per catch. And he said, and what makes God even more great is that the time of possession that the Denver Broncos had through the whole game was 31 minutes and 6 seconds. Now I'm going to let you guys take that, <clears throat> excuse me, take that in for a minute. Because it's everything I could do not to just get so emotional but that's how powerful God is. Three years later, he was reminding Tim that he's still using him. And here's the last thing that that PR guy said to him. He said that 90 million people Googled that verse again. So in a three-year span, almost 200 million people Googled John 3.16. And it was number one trending on all social media for several days in a row. Tim actually got very emotional and actually said, God, I didn't know that you were really doing anything today. He actually said, God, that was three years ago and you still are using me to get this verse out. He said, I was, he goes, I was just so humbled that over 90 million people again today looked up that verse. He was so honored and humbled that God was still using this great young man, Tim Tebow. The reason why I'm sharing this story with you is God has a plan for all of us. A lot of times we just don't know what that plan is and we just need to believe. We need to just stay focused on the Lord and allow him to do what he does best. And how you develop that faith is spending time with God, spending time in the word, Spending time around people who know God, people who study the word, get into a Bible study. I spend every morning with him. I never miss a morning. Never. And I spend all day with him. And that's not me bragging. That's my medication. That's what I have to do in order to live my life to the fullest. He has just given me so much to be grateful for, so much to be thankful for that I have just made a vow and it's become a part of my daily routine. And that's what I strongly wish and pray for all of you. Listen to that story and see how powerful our God is. What he did for that one person, Tim Tebow. He knew that Tim had that platform. He knew that Tim was a seeker of him and he was going to use Tim. He uses me and he uses you. You may not see it because you're not focused on him. So in ending this video, I want to thank you, but I want you to take a minute and write down in the description below, write down in the, in, you know, I just want you guys to tell me what has he done in your life to just show you he is real and he is alive.
And let me just share this story with you. When I was in prison, and I know a lot of you have heard this story, but I prayed and prayed and prayed that God would put a great woman in my life and I would have a baby girl. Years later, I met this beautiful woman. And years later, we had a baby girl. We've been together for 16 years and we have a beautiful 15-year-old daughter. And that is all because of God. That is all because I dedicated my life to him and I still to this day thank him every single day for that beautiful, outstanding, amazing, awesome wife that he gave me and that awesome, amazing little girl that he gave me as well. And I will spend the rest of my days honoring him and honoring them. I'm asking you to take that time today. Listen to this video again. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. And just spend time with God. Have faith in him and believe that he is a bigger God than you give him credit for. And let him do what he does best. And have faith and sit back and do what you have to do and believe. God bless you all. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this story with you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.